Well, this is a little case study because I know you all love me case studies and it's about a, not a transmission malfunction, it's about a voltage problem on an E90, a uh, bit of an old car. And what have we got? Well, we've got a lot of warning lights. We've got a hell of a lot of fault codes. There's probably 50 plus fault codes. Cast, terminal 50, that's the starter motor output. But as you'll see, a lot of under voltage codes there. We've got the MRS, that's the airbag unit. Got the combi under voltage, CIC under voltage, DSC under voltage. You get the idea. We've got a voltage problem. But what is it? Could it be the fuse box, which is common on these, a junction box? Not really, because the central locking was working. Usually that's the first thing that fails when the junction box isn't working. So what have we got? Well, first thing you can check if you suspect the starter is the ground cable. Well, in this case, someone's put positive cable on. But I don't mind because they've made it black. You just see a bit of red there. But it's a great job. It's a lovely cable. And that's better than the original because the original is absolute crap. So in the trunk, best place to start. Put in a power probe, take a voltage reading, unloaded. Now, this is because we have a battery charger on the car. So we're reading 13.36 volts from the front of the car all the way to the battery. Then we're going to go to the jump point at the front. The reason we're going to do that is... We're going to take a voltage difference. We've got 13.81 at the front, 13.3 at the back. We've got half a volt drop. Now, the cable is as thick as my thumb. Well, it shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen at all. So we've got a massive problem. with a, We've got a voltage drop even unloaded. Forget loading it. We'll get to that in just a moment. But the main problem, as we can see, is such an easy thing to find, a split open main cable cap. Why has it done that? Well... In winter time, the water which was in the trunk because they never bothered fixing a leak that was pissing water into the trunk expanded and cracked. So this is leaking from the inside out. And here is a close-up of that. As you can see, it's absolutely terrible, horrendous. It needs a new main cable. The cable itself is probably quite reasonable. Maybe a bit skanky, but the main cap is busted. That will just turn to powder when it's unbolted. It's just as simple as that. And that's where we have a voltage drop, even unloaded. So let's take another one. But this time, as you can see, it's gone down already slightly from 13.8 something. We're going to take a loaded drop now. Got a guy in the car on the starter. I'm measuring it. And straight off, we go on first crank down to 8.17 volts. Classic voltage drop because there's resistance on the main cable, even if it is as thick as my thumb. So we've got a massive resistance. After five to 10 seconds, this is what it went down to. You'd be very surprised. 6.73 volts. I think in reality it was five or six seconds. That's a massive drop. That cable's gone. Can't salvage it. You found the issue on the car in literally five minutes. And that is what it's all about. Now, this can apply to any make of car, not just a BMW. One thing you can look for, look for clues. The charger was on for two or three minutes and the cable, although it doesn't look it, was extremely uncomfortable. It was hot very hot, probably 50 plus degrees C. That wasn't comfortable to hold, although you can't see it from the image, just take my word for it. Now, after a couple of minutes of being on, it shouldn't be that hot. This is another clue, pushing in 72 amps. Battery was tested, by the way, I didn't put that in the video and probably I should have done. Battery was tested as not flat and it had only lost about 200 amps capacity. It wouldn't put in 72 amps. Also, another clue, 14.8 voltage coming out, and we've only got 13.8 at the jump point. Why? Resistance. It's just backing up. It's You can't do anything. This is the main cable. And as you can see, that there is the bolted bit from the inside of the car. And what's happened is water's gone past that point, And then it's gone basically capillary reaction into the cap to the outside. And it split it. So we need to change that full length of the car. Also, we need to change this. This is the SBK. This is the safety battery terminal. That's got a small squib in there that explodes. Kills your battery voltage in the event of an accident. Stops your fuel blowing up. That needs to be changed as well. That's it. And I wanted to make this little video. But this is the new style of things I'm doing. This is the new case study style. There are going to be a lot more in-depth videos. This is a basic one just to test your reactions. My loyal viewers. What you think. And if it's any good or not. Reason for this, as you already know. I can't do videos. But guess what? Can't do shots anymore either. So I do take photos at work because I need to do that for the customers. I can use them because that's what I use for the customer cars. But I can't take any more videos. They just take too much time and take me focus off the job. However, we're drifting off the topic. If this helped you and you're not very good at electrics and you want to get better, 
My little channel's growing steadily, but it's growing nonetheless. Please consider subscribing. The more people that subscribe and the more that like, share, and also comment. Please comment in the description. The more people that do that, the more YouTube sees that people are interested in my content, they'll push it further and we'll climb the ladder steadily to 10,000 subscribers and hopefully to 100,000 one day and maybe in 10 years, maybe a million, who knows. Until next time, drop a comment, please. And, uh, you know, let's have a chat. See you soon.